It is clear that we are here because the Department of Toxic Substance Control has significant problems. These problems have existed well before some of us were elected in 2016 and have persisted since. Although I do not pretend that the challenges facing the department are easy to fix, what I do know is that the current functional and fiscal status of DTSC is simply unacceptable. Fixing what seems to be an annual and reoccurring issue needs to be a priority for the legislature and I hope for the Newsom administration. I became involved in this issue when in 2017 I introduced AB 248, which would have changed the timeline for the submission of applications for permit renewal through DTSC to ensure they are processed in a timely manner. Then Governor Jerry Brown vetoed it, saying that he looked forward to partnering to address this critical problem. In 2018, I reintroduced this measure, and although hopeful, my colleagues and I were not met with the partnership necessary to move this issue forward. DTSC does not operate in the way that protects the public, and this leaves Californians, especially in disadvantaged and low-income communities, exposed to toxic substances that can affect their lives forever. Lives are at stake, and our urgency to address this problem must reflect that.